Its storefront wrapping belies what's inside. I have fun every day I come in here. Harold Slade is curator of this all-volunteer creation. I just love old things. The Cynthiana Harrison County Museum turns 15 this month. That's how the town is done. Harold and Neville Haley have spent seven years building this model of downtown Cynthiana, circa 1900. Ah, it hadn't changed too much. A few new buildings, some been tore down, some replaced. And yes, it's to scale. Two millimeters equals a foot. They used insurance books for dimensions, pictures for the look. Someone told me one time, he said, well, that's old stuff from way back. And I said, well, if they hadn't had it way back, where would we be today? It's these old timers. Means a whole lot to me. Favorite thing in the museum. One day I have one favorite, and now, next day I might be something else. But this is my old time favorite. I always come back to this. This place is stuffed with stuff. The volunteers probably call it the People's Museum. Billy Fowler showed me a police call box. This was the last one in Cynthia. He and his wife rescued it recently off a pole at a downtown intersection. This stoplight was also located on the corner of Pike and Main. Billy's returned both things to working order, but this bottle of whiskey sent to the museum by a California man remains unopened. We have a bottle here from uh, Van Hook, which was uh, bottled in the 1800s here in Cincinnati. The folks here at the museum told me that before Prohibition, Harrison County had more distilleries than any other county in Kentucky. A. Keller whiskey was made just outside of town. We've got one piece over here that I am extremely proud to have. It's an Atkinson automatic timer, an aftermarket product for Model T Fords. It was invented by a Cynthiana man. And right around the corner over here is where this was manufactured and sold. From high school memorabilia to memories of war, this museum has a bit of everything. Harold Slade donated his World War II uniform. After 50 years after my discharge, I still could get in. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> There's a collection of Civil War letters from a Union soldier to his wife. In one, the soldier writes about driving Confederate General John Hunt Morgan from Cynthiana. And whipped him back. <laughs> History and relics make this place a treasure trove for those who love days gone by in the bluegrass. <laughs> Photographer Paul Majanier and myself, it's time to head home. So let's check the train depot schedule board. It still has the lettering on it from the last trains that came through. Times change, don't they? I'm Greg Stottlemyre on Kentucky's Backroads. <laughs>